All right, my phone storage filled up while recording the tour. Um, it just filled up right here, so I made some room and I am uh, gonna continue it now. So, picking up where I left off at the passageway to 8th Avenue. So, that's the ramp right there. So that's the ramp back to Flushing. And that's the, well, no, not, not just to Flushing, to Times Square. So that's the ramp to Times Square. This is to 8th Avenue, and we're continuing to 8th Avenue. What a convenient spot to run out of storage. I can just break this video up into two parts. And then if I'm going to do that, I might as well tour Bryant Park. All right, so we're just gonna walk through this long as shit passageway here. Customer assistance intercom. Ooh, should I cross it? I won't. <laughs> Let's continue. Another art piece. I think this is one of the longest passageways in the subway, but I think that Court Square might be longer. I know that when I went to Court Square once, I was surprised at how long the passageway felt, especially compared to this one. It feels much longer. Okay, I didn't get a good view of that. Oh well. Here we are. I and the 8th Avenue line. This is now wheelchair accessible. 7th Avenue. Alright, let's start with the uptown side. So those are exits that we're going to have to go out. So let's start with Uptown. This one has a cool renovation. It has a theme that makes it look like the Port Authority bus terminal. Uptown and downtown. Weirdest sign I've ever seen. Uptown and downtown do not belong on the same sign. Here's the entrance to the Port Authority bus terminal right here. I'm not actually touring the Port Authority bus terminal because I take it they have different rules for recording than the subway does. So I'm not going to bother with it. And also, I've been doing this for an hour now. So there's that too. Uptown Queens, ACE. Another exit there. Main exit, 42nd Street and 8th Avenue. Northeast and southeast corner. This goes to. This is the one that goes to the building. There's a big building, there it goes to. Then that one also leads into a building. Fancy entrances there, and then. Sign. And then over here, we have a little mini entrance, which just goes to, goes over there and then off to the left somewhere. So I don't know where that actually is. Nice, we have some fair evasion. Always a pleasant, 
one of the many pleasantries you'll see in the New York City subway. Uh, people who don't pay their fare because they're entitled. Which is my opinion of it, anyway. I think it's uh, entitlement more than anything. Right? People who say, oh, I'm not going to pay for a rat-infested system. Well, typically the rats aren't actually in the train. They're in the tracks. And the condition of the platforms being dirty is often a result of commuters with no class that don't keep them clean. And you're still using the service. It costs millions of dollars to operate. So you're not paying. It's like saying you're paying for a rat infested system is ridiculous. You're paying to use a multi-million dollar service. Like you're paying to use something that was billions of dollars to come up. It wasn't just, it didn't just appear out of nowhere one day. Someone had to pay for it, you know, tax money funded it in part, and then private companies funded the other half of it. And then again, just to maintain it, costs money as well. So you're not paying for a rat infested system, you're paying for a multi million dollar service. Just uh, my opinion of it. And it's entitlement because it's people thinking that they're above that. Another bunch of staircases here. Uptown in Queens. ACE. We'll go down there in a second. Probably going to wind up exiting here. Yeah, I should have another swipe. Um, just in case I don't have another swipe, I am going to go here first, exit out at the other area, and then see if I have another swipe. And I'll do it like that instead. Here we go. These platforms are very offset. I think it was just because they wouldn't fit under 8th Avenue if they were not offset because they wanted them to be very wide. So that's the reason, if I understand the layout of the station correctly, they really just needed space. So that's why it's offset. And that's why there's a huge bend at the middle of the platform. You'll see what I'm talking about as we head over there. So they wanted to fit them both under 8th Avenue, but they wanted them to be very wide. So as a result, as we go towards the south end of the platform, you see it tapers. And that is all a result of space requirements for the station. Right outside there. And one there as well. Of course, the idea behind making the platform super wide was an ID thing. 
So the IND wanted to overbuild because they wanted to make sure that they could fit the needs of projected growth and not just the current needs of the city, which was the idea behind the BMT and the IRT subways. That's why those platforms tend to be more narrow than IND platforms like this. So here you can see the tapering that I mentioned, and what? You can see Penn Station. Look. Why can you see so many of the stations from each other? Are they all that close? That's insane. So let's go over to the other side. Now let's go to the other side. Here, yeah, so it's only here. There's no, there's no downtown entrances from that side. Right. Here we are on the downtown. IND platform. Let's see here. Should probably be careful here. Right. This is over there at the sign. Why is this a sign? Let's continue down the platform. You can see the tapering, it widens out. Tapering I mentioned. I'll show the route signs as well. E, C and D. I guess the E is first this time. And then A. Forty Second Street, Port Authority bus terminal. They have a ramp here. Forty Second Street. Abandons concession stands. It's closed, not abandoned. Here we have this hatch. And if you're wondering what this hatch is, there used to be a subway station below this one. So those hatches are the sealed off entrances. So there's actually an abandoned station below this one. And that's what those are. So that's pretty neat. All right, there goes ad revenue on this one as well. No ad revenue will be compensating for this two hours that I spent 
at this point here. Maybe I'll just mute it. terminal another another sealed off entrance to the lower level so here we are at the end right so that's that the train. exit only 40th and 8th avenue at this point we have to exit anyway Might as well. Okay, here we are. 430 bus terminal, 8th Avenue, spinning turnstiles here. Let's take these ones and we'll show the unpaid area here. Space over here. Wow. I've never seen this many Metro card machines together in my life. It's so weird. And then this this goes to the Port Authority bus terminal over there. So let's go this way. Turnstiles. Another arrival board. See so yeah, a turnstiles back to the subway but I need to save my swipe now for later, so I won't be entering the subway. Let's just go back. This way, there are more entrances to show over here. But surprisingly, it's colder here. Street and 8th Avenue. Let's see, do I have to go up? Whoa, this one's big. What? Jeez. I didn't think it was going to be that big. And back there. Now let's go this way. This is closed for some reason. And there isn't there. Just bends a bit. Let's go this way now. Let's go here. Exit 40th Street and 8th Avenue, southwest corner. What the? What is this? What the fuck is that? Let's do this one, and then I'll end with the long one, right here. One there. And then last one. Over here. So we're going to go out that one and the tour. All right. All right. Why is there a gate? Do they close this one? Because there's a gate there. Here we are. What the fuck? What is this horror movie? Looking ass exit. gun-free zone. So stupid. That's not going to stop a criminal from bringing a gun with him. 
Who the hell has like a gun with them in New York City? <laughs> That's not like a thug or something. Like no normal guys walking around New York City. No. No one is walking around with a fucking AK-47. Why do they have those signs? That makes no sense. Did they expect that people would be getting open carry licenses for AK-47s or something? Like, come on. Right. So that's going to wrap this tour up. If you guys enjoyed, subscribe to the channel. I'm Webso. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. And I'm saying goodbye. Thanks for watching.